Have you ever been in a situation where someone's silence spoke louder than words? Perhaps a tense argument where the other person's refusal to respond felt more contemptuous than any insult they could have hurled. Or a social gathering where someone's deliberate quietness conveyed a sense of superiority or disdain. This concept of quiet is the height of contempt is deeply rooted in Stoic philosophy, a school of thought that emphasizes reason, self-control and emotional resilience. The Stoics believed that silence could be a powerful tool, a way to assert one's indifference or detachment from a situation or person. In our modern world, where we're constantly bombarded with noise and distractions, the art of silence has become increasingly undervalued. We often mistake silence for passivity or weakness, when in reality, it can be a profound expression of strength and self-possession. The Stoics understood that true power lies in our ability to control our reactions and emotions rather than being controlled by them. By mastering the art of silence, they could maintain their composure and dignity in the face of adversity, insults or provocation. Through this exploration of 10 things that show that quiet is the height of contempt, we'll delve into the nuances and complexities of this Stoic principle. From historical examples to contemporary scenarios, we'll uncover the ways in which silence can be a powerful tool for conveying contempt, indifference, or a sense of moral superiority. So let's begin our journey into the realm of silence, where the unspoken can speak volumes, and where true strength lies in the ability to hold one's tongue. Number 1. The Silent Rebuke have you ever found yourself in a heated argument, passions flaring, voices rising, only to be met with a stony silence from the other person? It's a situation that can be utterly maddening, isn't it? That deliberate quietness, that refusal to engage, can feel like the ultimate form of contempt. The Stoics understood this dynamic well. They recognized that silence could be a powerful weapon, a way to assert one's indifference or disdain towards another person's words or actions. By refusing to respond, they could maintain their composure and convey a sense of moral superiority. Consider the example of Marcus Aurelius, the philosopher king of ancient Rome. As the story goes, he was once berated by a detractor in a public forum, subjected to a torrent of insults and accusations. Yet, rather than responding in kind, Aurelius remained silent, unmoved by the verbal onslaught. His detractor, frustrated by the lack of reaction, eventually fell silent, and the crowd was left in awe of the emperor's composure. This ability to remain silent in the face of provocation is a hallmark of the Stoic way. It's a testament to their belief in the power of reason over emotion and their understanding that true strength lies in maintaining one's equanimity, even in the face of adversity. Silence can be a potent form of contempt because it denies the other person the satisfaction of a reaction. It's a way of saying, your words or actions are so insignificant, so beneath me, that they don't even warrant a response. It's a tacit assertion of one's own superiority, a refusal to engage on the same level as the other person. As we move forward, keep in mind the power of silence and the contempt it can convey. It's a lesson that the Stoics understood well, and one that can serve us in our modern lives when faced with situations that might otherwise provoke an emotional or impulsive response. Number 2. Quiet Solace, Profound Contempt Silence is the perfectest herald of joy. I were but little happy if I could say how much. This quote from Shakespeare's Much Ado About Nothing captures a profound truth. Sometimes the most meaningful moments are best expressed through silence. In our fast-paced, noise-filled world, we often underestimate the power of quiet contemplation. Yet, the Stoics understood that silence could be a potent form of contempt 
a way to convey a sense of detachment or indifference towards the superficial distractions of daily life. Imagine yourself in a crowded city, surrounded by the cacophony of traffic, construction and the constant chatter of people. In that moment, finding a quiet sanctuary, a park, a library or even your own home can feel like a blessed relief, a respite from the chaos. By embracing silence, you're asserting your contempt for the noise and distractions that so often consume our lives. The Stoics believed that true contentment and wisdom could only be found through introspection and self-reflection, and silence was a crucial facilitator of that process. By quieting the external noise, they could turn their focus inward, cultivating a deeper understanding of themselves and their place in the world. This concept is exemplified in the writings of Seneca, the Roman philosopher and statesman. He advocated for regular periods of solitude and silence, seeing them as essential for maintaining mental clarity and emotional equilibrium. In his own words, silence is the virtue of fools, but it is also the refuge of the wise. So, the next time you find yourself overwhelmed by the noise and bustle of modern life, embrace the power of silence. Allow it to be your refuge, a sanctuary where you can contemplate the deeper questions and find solace in the stillness. For in that quiet, you may discover the very essence of the Stoic way. Number three, the unspoken conversation. Have you ever been in a meeting or a group discussion where someone's silence felt more powerful than a thousand words? That palpable tension, that unspoken disdain hanging in the air, can be utterly disarming. The Stoics recognized that silence could be a potent form of contempt, particularly in social or professional settings. By refusing to engage, to offer an opinion or contribute to the discussion, an individual could effectively shut down the conversation, asserting their indifference or superiority over the proceedings. Consider the example of Diogenes, the famous cynic philosopher of ancient Greece. It's said that he attended a lecture by the renowned orator Anaximenes only to sit in complete silence throughout the entire presentation. When asked why he remained so quiet, Diogenes responded, I came to learn not to teach. In that single sardonic retort, Diogenes conveyed a wealth of contempt. His silence was a tacit rebuke, a rejection of the very premise of the lecture and a dismissal of Anakimene's authority on the subject. It was a masterful display of the power of quiet contempt. This dynamic is not limited to ancient anecdotes, however. In modern workplaces and social circles, Silence can be a powerful tool for asserting dominance or undermining the credibility of others. A colleague who refuses to engage in a discussion or a friend who remains aloof and detached during a conversation can effectively derail the entire interaction. The Stoics understood that true wisdom often lies in knowing when to speak and when to remain silent. By mastering the art of quiet contempt, they could maintain their composure and assert their superiority without resorting to overt hostility or aggression. As we navigate the complexities of social and professional interactions, let us remember the lessons of the Stoics and the power of silence. Sometimes, the most potent form of contempt lies in the very act of refusing to engage. Number four, when silence speaks louder, Nothing is more certain than the denouements of disturbance in silence. This quote from Elizabeth Barrett Browning encapsulates a profound truth. In the aftermath of chaos and turmoil, silence can be the ultimate expression of contempt. The Stoics understood this dynamic well. They recognized that there are times when words fail to capture the depth of one's disdain or indifference towards a situation or individual. In such moments, silence becomes the most potent form of contempt. Imagine a scenario where you've been wronged, 
betrayed by someone you trusted. The initial shock and anger may fuel a torrent of words, accusations hurled and emotions laid bare. But as the storm subsides, as the dust settles, what remains is a deafening silence. A silence that speaks volumes about the depth of your contempt. This is the silence of a wounded heart. A silence born from the realization that no words can adequately convey the pain and disappointment you feel. It's a silence that carries more weight than any scathing remark or heated exchange, for it is the embodiment of your decision to disengage, to withdraw your emotional investment entirely. The Stoics revered this kind of silence, for it represented the ultimate act of self-control and emotional fortitude. To remain silent in the face of provocation, to refuse to engage with the source of one's anguish, was a testament to the strength of one's character and the depth of one's contempt. In the words of Epictetus, the great Stoic philosopher, if anyone tells you that a certain person speaks ill of you, do not make excuses about what is said of you, but answer, he was ignorant of my other faults else he would not have mentioned these alone. Such a response, cloaked in silence and tinged with disdain, is a masterful display of the power of quiet contempt. As we navigate the complexities of life and the inevitable trials that come our way, let us remember the wisdom of the Stoics. For in those moments when words fail us, silence may be the most eloquent expression of our contempt. Number five, embracing the stillness within. In the cacophony of modern life, where noise and distractions assail us from every direction, the act of embracing silence can be a profound form of contempt. It's a rejection of the incessant demands on our attention, a quiet rebellion against the insidious forces that seek to monopolize our thoughts and emotions. The Stoics understood this dynamic well. They recognized that true inner peace and clarity could only be achieved by cultivating a sense of detachment from the external world by embracing the stillness within. In their view, silence was not merely the absence of sound, but a state of being, a conscious choice to disengage from the superficial and focus on the enduring truths that matter most. Consider the example of Seneca, the Roman philosopher and statesman. In his writings, he extolled the virtues of quietude, urging his readers to seek refuge in moments of solitude and contemplation. Retire into yourself as much as possible, he wrote. Associate with those who will make a better person of you. Welcome those whom you yourself can improve. In these words, Seneca conveyed a profound contempt for the distractions and trivialities that so often consume our lives. By actively seeking out silence and solitude, one could assert their independence from the demands of the world, cultivating a sense of inner strength and self-sufficiency. This ethos is perhaps best embodied in the practice of Stoic meditation a discipline that encourages practitioners to focus their attention inward, embracing the present moment and letting go of the external noise and chatter. It's a radical act of defiance against the constant barrage of stimuli that bombards our senses, a quiet assertion of our sovereignty over our own thoughts and emotions. As we navigate the complexities of the modern world, let us remember the wisdom of the Stoics and the power of silent contempt. By embracing moments of stillness and introspection, we can reclaim our inner peace and fortify our resilience against the relentless demands of the external world. Number six, the quiet dominance. In the fast-paced, often cutthroat world of business and professional life, Silence can be a potent form of contempt, a subtle yet powerful way to assert one's dominance and undermine the authority of others. The Stoics understood this dynamic well. They recognized that words, while powerful, could also be a double-edged sword, capable of both elevating and diminishing one's standing. 
Silence, on the other hand, could be a masterful tool for conveying a sense of superiority and indifference towards those who might seek to challenge or undermine you. Imagine a boardroom meeting where voices are raised and egos clash as colleagues vie for attention and influence. In the midst of this cacophony, there sits an individual who remains resolutely silent, their gaze unwavering, their demeanor impassive. This silence is not born of meekness or uncertainty. Rather, it is a calculated display of quiet contempt, a tacit assertion that the posturing and bravado of their colleagues is beneath their notice. This strategy is reminiscent of the famous anecdote involving Diogenes the Cynic and Alexander the Great. When the conqueror approached Diogenes and asked if there was anything he desired, the philosopher simply replied, stand aside, for you are blocking the sun. In that single unadorned statement, Diogenes conveyed a profound disdain for the trappings of power and wealth, asserting his intellectual and moral superiority over the mighty Alexander. In the corporate world, such displays of quiet contempt can be equally potent. A CEO who refuses to engage with a subordinate's criticism, a manager who remains silent in the face of a colleague's grandstanding, these actions speak volumes, telegraphing a sense of detachment and disdain that can be far more effective than any verbal riposte. As we navigate the complex hierarchies and power dynamics of professional life, let us remember the wisdom of the Stoics and the quiet strength of silent contempt. For in those moments when words fail us, silence may be the most eloquent expression of our confidence and self-assurance. Number seven, the intimacy of silent contempt. In the realm of personal relationships, silence can be a profoundly powerful form of contempt a wordless rebuke that cuts deeper than any insult or accusation. The Stoics understood this dynamic well, recognizing that the bonds of intimacy could often be the very source of our greatest vulnerabilities and our greatest triumphs. Consider the scenario of a long-term partnership or marriage that has grown strained, where trust and communication have broken down. In the aftermath of a heated argument, one partner may retreat into a wall of silence, refusing to engage or acknowledge the other's attempts at reconciliation. This silence is not merely the absence of words, but a palpable force, a void that speaks volumes about the depth of their hurt and the intensity of their contempt. The great Stoic philosopher Epictetus spoke of this dynamic, advising his students to be silent for the most part, or if you do speak, say only what is necessary, and in a few words. In such moments of emotional turmoil, Epictetus recognized that silence could be a powerful tool for regaining one's composure and asserting a sense of control over the situation. But silence in the context of personal relationships can also be a form of emotional cruelty, a way of inflicting deep and lasting wounds on those closest to us. The Stoics were keenly aware of this paradox and cautioned against using silence as a weapon to punish or manipulate others. Instead, they advocated for a more nuanced understanding of silence, one rooted in self-control, emotional resilience, and a genuine desire for personal growth and self-improvement. By mastering the art of silent contempt, they believed one could navigate the complexities of personal relationships with grace and dignity without succumbing to the destructive impulses of anger or resentment. As we navigate the intricate tapestry of our own intimate bonds, let us remember the wisdom of the Stoics and the power of silent contempt. For in those moments when words fail us, silence may be the most profound expression of our innermost thoughts and feelings. Number 8. Silencing the Digital Noise The rise of social media and online discourse has ushered in a new era of noise and constant stimulation. In this virtual maelstrom, where opinions and reactions are amplified and disseminated at breakneck speeds, 
The Stoics would have recognized silence as a powerful form of contempt. Imagine scrolling through your social media feed, bombarded by a deluge of hot takes, outrage and performative discourse. In the midst of this cacophony, there are those who choose to remain silent, a deliberate act of disengagement that conveys a quiet disdain for the very nature of the online discourse itself. This silence is not born of apathy or ignorance, but rather a conscious decision to resist the constant demand for reaction and validation that fuels so much of social media. By refusing to participate, these individuals assert their contempt for the superficial and ephemeral nature of online debates, choosing instead to focus their energy on more substantive and meaningful pursuits. The Stoics understood that true wisdom often lies in knowing when to speak and when to remain silent. In the words of Epictetus, we have two ears and one mouth so that we can listen twice as much as we speak. In the context of the digital age, this wisdom takes on a new urgency, reminding us that the constant chatter of online discourse can often drown out the quieter voices of reason and introspection. By embracing silence in the face of the virtual onslaught, we can assert our sovereignty over our own thoughts and emotions, reclaiming the precious mental space that is so often colonized by the demands of the online world. In doing so, we embody the stoic ethos of self-control and emotional resilience, standing as beacons of quiet contempt in a world that often mistakes noise for substance. Number nine, the defiant artistic pause. In the digital age where the world is connected by a vast web of technology and social media, silence can be a potent form of contempt a way to assert one's detachment from the constant noise and clamor of online discourse. The Stoics understood this dynamic well, recognizing that true wisdom and inner peace could only be found by cultivating a sense of detachment from the superficial distractions that so often consume our attention. In their view, silence was not merely the absence of sound, but a conscious choice to disengage from the endless cycle of reaction and response that characterizes much of modern communication. Imagine the scenario of a heated online debate, where voices are raised and tempers flare as participants hurl insults and accusations across the digital divide. In the midst of this virtual maelstrom, there sits an individual who remains resolutely silent, their feed a blank canvas amidst the chaos. This silence is not born of meekness or uncertainty. Rather, it is a calculated display of quiet contempt, a tacit assertion that the noise and vitriol of the online world is beneath their notice. This ethos is reminiscent of the teachings of Epictetus, the great Stoic philosopher who urged his students to be silent for the most part, or if you do speak, say only what is necessary and in a few words. In the context of the digital age, this wisdom takes on a new and profound significance, reminding us that true strength often lies in our ability to disengage from the constant barrage of stimuli that bombards our senses. By embracing silence in the face of the online onslaught, we can assert our sovereignty over our own thoughts and emotions, reclaiming the precious mental space that is so often colonized by the demands of the virtual world. In doing so, we embody the stoic ethos of self-control and emotional resilience, standing as beacons of quiet contempt in a world that often mistakes noise for substance. As we navigate the ever-expanding digital landscape, let us remember the wisdom of the Stoics and the power of silent contempt. For in those moments when the virtual world threatens to overwhelm us, silence may be the most potent expression of our determination to remain grounded in what truly matters. Number 10. Transcending through stillness. In the realms of artistic expression and creative endeavor, Silence can be a potent form of contempt, 
a rejection of the conventions and expectations that often constrain the boundaries of what is deemed acceptable or worthy of appreciation. Imagine a performance artist standing motionless on a stage, their silence a defiant rebuke to the audience's expectations. In that wordless moment, they convey a sense of quiet contempt for the very notion of conventional performance, asserting their artistic freedom and challenging the limits of what is considered art. This ethos is reminiscent of the famous silent piece by avant-garde composer John Cage, in which performers simply sat motionless for 4 minutes and 33 seconds, allowing the ambient sounds of the environment to become the music itself. In that radical act of silence, Cage asserted his contempt for the traditional boundaries of musical composition, inviting the audience to experience sound in a wholly new and unconventional way. For the Stoics, such displays of quiet contempt in the artistic realm would have resonated deeply. They understood that true greatness often lies in the ability to transcend the limitations imposed by society and convention to challenge the very foundations upon which our understanding of the world is built. Yet the Stoics would also caution against equating silence with mere provocation or shock value. True artistic expression, in their view, must be rooted in a deeper sense of purpose and a genuine desire to explore the boundaries of human understanding. As Marcus Aurelius wrote, the universe is change, our life is what our thoughts make it. As we explore the realms of creative expression and artistic endeavor, let us remember the wisdom of the Stoics and the power of silent contempt, for in those moments when convention threatens to stifle our creative spirits, silence may be the most profound expression of our determination to break free and forge new paths of artistic exploration. Conclusion Throughout our exploration of 10 things that show that quiet is the height of contempt, we've delved into the nuances and complexities of this stoic principle. From personal relationships to professional spheres, from creative expression to digital discourse, we've witnessed the myriad ways in which silence can convey a sense of disdain, detachment or moral superiority. The Stoics understood that true power often lies not in the volume of our words, but in the quiet strength of our convictions. By mastering the art of silent contempt, they could navigate the complexities of life with grace and dignity, asserting their independence and self-assurance without resorting to aggression or hostility. In our modern world, where noise and distraction are the norm, the lessons of the Stoics take on a renewed significance. As we strive to find balance and inner peace amidst the chaos, silence can be our ally, a refuge from the constant demands on our attention and a potent tool for asserting our sovereignty over our thoughts and emotions. Yet, the Stoics would also caution against using silence as a weapon or a means of inflicting harm on others. True contempt, in their view, must be rooted in a sense of wisdom and moral fortitude, not pettiness or vindictiveness. As we contemplate the enduring legacy of Stoic philosophy, let us embrace the power of silence not as a form of contempt, but as a pathway to self-discovery and personal growth. For in those moments of quiet introspection, we may find the strength to rise above the noise and turmoil of the external world and connect with the deeper truths that lie within. So I invite you to share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. How has silence played a role in your life and what lessons can we learn from the stoic embrace of quiet contempt? And as you continue on your journey of self-discovery and personal growth, may the wisdom of the Stoics be a guiding light, reminding you of the power that lies in the stillness within.